Recently, I was asked to send in a CV for a job interview. It felt strange, looking through a list of all the things I had achieved. They seemed so abstract, and I could barely see any of myself in them. So, I decided to make something more attuned with the overdramatic and cataclysmic Homo sapien I am. My name is Tom, and this is my CV of Shattered Ideals. 1. I am invincible. When I was a kid, I was taught by cartoons to think I was invincible. I quickly found out the world doesn't quite work like this. When I was four years old at a crash called Lindiwe in Peter Maritzburg, I ran down a hill at a furious pace. I tripped and fell headfirst onto the side of a brick simultaneously shattering both my forehead and Superman complex in one foul swoop. I remember shouting, I want a new head, in the hospital. That was a shit ideal. Two, you will fall in love and live happily ever after. When I was 15, I fell in love. It felt like a Fitzgerald novel. We dated for three and a half years. We haven't met for many years. Submerged in a void of puppy teenage love. Then she moved to England and I came to Rhodes, which for a brief but seemingly endless amount of time was emotionally crippling. She found another guy almost immediately. And so, left me with the immense fear of being replaced again. That was also a shit ideal. Three, pets live forever. This was perhaps the hardest of all the lessons to learn. When I was young, I had a dog called Mr. Man. He was undoubtedly my best friend in the entire world and used to sleep at the foot of my bed every night. One day Mr. Man got sick while I was away. We all thought he was going to pass. He made a miraculous recovery overnight. And the next day when I got home, I refused to go to school to be with my best friend. He gradually grew weaker throughout the day. And then afternoon, I held him in my arms and he faded away. It was my first encounter with death. And even now, so many years later, it's still difficult to talk about. That was a really naive ideal. Four, you will be remembered forever. When I was little, I had a lot of heroes. These were mainly taken from my dad. They included Eddie Izzard. 3 a.m. in the morning and you're getting this for, and there's a queue forming behind you. No, it's brown bread, brown bread, man, yeah. A queue of murderers. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. When Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. And Muhammad Ali. <laughs> These were made men in my eyes, gods, destined to be remembered forever. I wanted to be exactly like them. But as I got older, I came to the realization that they were no different from me. In the spectrum of the universe, their lives and my own barely even resemble a speck on an indifferent timeline. But at the same time, it's filled with meaning. There's my mom, my dad, my brother and sisters, my lovely girlfriend Griselle. There's food and adventures and books and movies to see. So, in the end, why not just appreciate the little things and make your own meaning?